20 top things to do in a lucid dream, the best things to do in lucid dreams. This is my collection of things that most people have never heard of, unusual, exciting things, not just flying, not just having sex, okay, really unbelievably mind-blowing things. So here is the top 20. Number one, fly out of this world. Fly beyond the limits of the dream. So in the dream we have like almost like a bubble where we subconsciously expect that that's where the action will take place. If you just learn how to fly, you can go beyond this planet, beyond the atmosphere and into space. Pretty exciting and I guarantee you'll ex enjoy what you experience up there. Number two, so you swim really far out into the ocean. You can swim really, really deeply. You don't need to breathe, okay? In a dream, you're not breathing air, just like in the Matrix where Neo is asked, you know, why am I struggling here? And Morpheus says, well, that's not air you're breathing. Uh, or you think that's air you're breathing, you know? You're not breathing air. You can swim really deeply in a lucid dream, really, really far to the bottom of the ocean. Number three, you can discover your spirit animal or basically the animal that you would like to experience. I personally like to become birds because they can fly, but you can also get more creative with this. Think about things you wouldn't normally experience in waking life. My most favorite one is to become an ant because ants can see the world in a completely new way they, they are tiny of course so to an ant even a, a blade of grass would be an entire kingdom they could walk around on and before transform the air around you into water so go to your favorite place let's say downtown in, in tokyo okay there's all these crazy skyscrapers and everything loads of people around snap your fingers and turn the air into water so suddenly now you're all underwater and you're swimming through a place where normally there's not water it's kind of trippy very exciting I think you'll like that one. Number five, I'm gonna give you a warning with this one. Find a mirror and try and step through the mirror. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen, but I guarantee it's gonna be pretty trippy. You might get some kind of weird reaction or even sleep paralysis, but I promise you it's worth it if you get it right. Number six, focus on an object. Let's say if there's something really far away, you can focus on the object and tell yourself that you will become that object. Sounds boring, doesn't it? It sounds boring to become a chair, but the experience you will have and how it will feel it's pretty insane. I have to say, you need to try it for yourself. Number seven, just visualize a paradise retreat, like an island or a tropical forest or something like that. And imagine yourself walking through that paradise. That's actually one of my favorite ones. And as I love traveling, I really enjoy manifesting and sort of experiencing a tropical island paradise. An extra bonus is to or to manifest weird animals that would not normally be on a tropical island. Personally, I like to imagine myself on a paradise beach and there's sort of palm trees there, but then there are also like giraffes walking along the beach front, you know, or like really, really big, unusual animals, massive spiders or ants or things like that. Uh, that's quite interesting to me. I, I find that quite fun. Number eight, you can throw fireballs or lightning bolts from your fingers like a superhero. Very interesting. And uh, if you get into any fights or any uh, disagreements in a lucid dream or if something's in your way, you can just throw a fireball at them and, <laughs> and it will all go away. Number nine, of course, having sex or sexual experiences with fantasies, celebrities, or even people you know. Uh, as I said in previous videos, you can do anything in a lucid dream. It all feels incredibly realistic and vivid, but I would not spend much time focusing on this one because you'll wake up faster than you would doing any of the other things. Number 10, you need to find a dream character, convince them that they are lucid dreaming. This will trigger a subconscious reaction that will be unlike anything you've experienced in a lucid dream. It will kind of, time will stand still and you'll experience incredible time dilation because your subconscious mind, the dream itself, is becoming lucid. So it's not just you within the dream, the entire dream, which is of course all you, the subconscious mind, is all you, will become lucid. And sometimes it goes well, sometimes it goes badly. You kind of have to take it as you find it and see what happens for you. But just try and go up to dream character, say, did you know you're in a lucid dream right now? And see what happens. I hope you're enjoying this so far, by the way. I would love you to leave a comment letting me know your favorite thing out of this list or your thing that you would rather do. Something you think is the best thing to do in a lucid dream. And uh, the best one or the most upvoted one, I'll read out in my next video. Number 11, you can talk to long lost relatives, friends, family members, or celebrities or famous people. Uh, through lucid dreaming, at least through your blueprint of reality and your memories, you can manifest dream characters and create them. And interacting with them will be very, very similar to actually talking to them in real life. Number 12, you can find your spirit guides or your higher self. Now that might cause many people to go away and I probably already got demonetized because I mentioned sex, but I don't care because this is gonna be the most interesting list of things to do in a lucid dream, the best things to do in lucid dreams. And I guarantee that if you visit your higher self, they will have a found message for you, even if you don't believe that the higher self exists. <laughs> I guarantee that'll be interesting for you. Number 13, meet yourself as a child. Go back in time, very easy to do in a lucid dream, time dilation, time portals, and meet yourself as a child and see what messages they want to give to you, see what they say to you. And don't lead the conversation with them, just literally go up to yourself as a child and say, do you have anything to say to me? Do you have any messages for me? And make sure to write them down when you wake up because I guarantee there'll be profound insights. Number 14, visit an alien planet and see 
see what kind of society they're running. Basically, you don't need to have any expectations for this. Just visit the planet and find an alien and tell them to show you around their society and show you how everything works. Does anyone here believe in aliens, by the way? I'd love you to uh, let me know in the comments. Number 15, astral project or have an OBE from within the lucid dream. So the lucid dreaming state is very powerful because your brain waves are in a certain place where it's easy for you to project out of your body in an astral way. So give that a try and see how you get on with that. Number 16, I actually made a whole video about this, but tell the dream to surprise you. Shout out to the lucid dream, show me something unusual, surprise me, give me something unexpected, give me a shock and uh, prepare to be blown away. Number 17 is kind of what I did in my lucid transcendence experience, where I sort of dissolved the dream scene and made everything blur away into just pure white awareness. Incredible experience. I've only done this once and I guarantee you will enjoy this, but it's kind of difficult to do and you need to be meditating in order to have that level of focus and awareness. But just become lucid and just try and dissolve everything away. Stay in the dream, stay lucid and asleep, but try and make everything around you disappear so that all you can see is white light. Everything around you should be white and you should be kind of floating as well, looking up. So you're sort of floating as if this is your body, you're kind of floating like that, looking up and everything around you is white light. Number 18, try and gather chi energy. In a lucid dream, your brain waves are in kind of theta or delta, meaning that they're also sometimes in alpha as well, meaning that your brain is in a focused, relaxed state and you're basically gonna be very easily able to meditate and get into deeper states like delta. If you then, within that state, when you're already lucid, meditate or gather chi energy, meaning you just sit there and imagine energy flowing from the ground through you, uh, you'll very quickly stabilize the dream and you might experience what could be described as being trapped in the dream, uh, or at least it feels like time is just standing still and you're not able to move or escape the dream. Can be scary, but at the same time, it's a good way of making the dream last longer. 19, find a red door, go through the door, enter the door. Number 20, become hyper lucid. I do have another video about this, but basically just meditate within the dream and that will create another layer of the dream. Stabilize everything, your brain waves will drop down into delta or theta and you'll be able to have a more relaxed, stable, lucid dream just because you're meditating within the dream. Now, I've tried that a few times, I know it really does work and you can also use that as just a general stabilization technique, just to sit down, meditate and look around without moving too much. If you can't lucid dream already, I do have a printable template and a sort of a step-by-step -step course which will tell you what to practice every day for a month it's called the Lucid Bootcamp. Uh, you can check that out in the description. And in other videos, I do explain more specifically what to do, but this is just kind of like for beginners. If you just want some ideas, some inspiration, I would recommend that you do these things. Um, if you're a Kindle reader, I do have a Kindle book called 100 Things to Do in a Lucid Dream. Uh, that'll be in the description as well. But more than anything, just try and think outside the box. Try and think of things to do that most people would not think to do. That being said, sometimes I just have boring lucid dreams. Sometimes I literally just imagine that I'm in a shop and I decide lucidly to walk around a supermarket and pick up things and go shopping. <laughs> I have no idea why, it's boring, but sometimes use the lucid dream space as kind of like an extra bit of time to just mess around and do whatever you want in. So I'd love you to comment that the most creative, unbelievable or mind-blowing thing you will try in a lucid dream, the best one, as in the most upvoted one, uh, a shout out in my Instagram story and uh, I will make a video about that specific one. So go ahead and upvote people's comments. If you see something you like, try and upvote it. Uh, this is really a community, you're not competing with each other, okay? Just leave a really cool comment let me know what you would like to do in a lucid dream and upvote the ones you like the best and the best one I will read out in my next video or at least in a video in the near future.